Thomas gets to crack it. Into Al Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. You know, I don't get caught up in whether Horford is a power forward or center. All I know is he can ball, and his skill set allows him to be productive and consistent. Thaddeus Young, he's checked in for C.J. Myers. And Horford, a great combination of skill, Stephen Toughness. Yeah, but he's one of my favorite players in the league. Just such a high skill level, but uh, tough. He rebounds, he defends well, he can guard either the power forward or center position. And a winner. Remember, he won two NCAA championships at Florida. You know, when you're an older team and you try to milk every possession, you've got to be more efficient. And over the past few years, the Celtics have failed to grab offensive rebounds, and that problem was not corrected during their disappointing 12-13 season. Young, defended by Crowder, outside for George. Right side, George. At the Turner, Robinson inside. Outside, George. Reporter. And Boston with the rebound. The Clark, as you said, the Celtics just didn't grab any offensive rebounds at all this last season. Dead last in the entire league in that regard. And Steve, they were getting, what, about uh, eight a game? That's been the case with the Celtics for about the past four or five years. They've never been a team that concentrated on offensive rebounds, partly because they wanted good transition defense. So they didn't send more than one or two guys to the offensive glass. Thomas goes in. Lays it in with an inch of room around him. Thomas got eight. You know, there's no fear out of him, guys. I mean, going straight to the hoop against a much bigger defender, uh, he's got a lot of heart. Austin making a switch here. Bradley's check in. George with the ball. Now guarded by Crowder. Gets it to go. They've done a really good job of knocking down their long-distance shots here in the second quarter. And they're shooting just above 40% from downtown. That's outstanding. And he's able to get it back. Defensive oh, rebound. Down. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game. Yeah, and that's what's paved the way for them to build this big lead. No question. Young, George, team for three. And Indiana, another three. Things are starting to warm up from the field for them this quarter as they add to their lead. Yeah, it seems like everybody, Steve, has the hot hand right now. Here's Thomas. That's good. Thomas got five points now this quarter. Guys, he's shot a very good percentage today. They need it. Here's Young. No good. Good work defensively by Horford. Here's Brown. Pass to Crowder. From outside the arc, a shot's good Brown making the play. Brown's got his third assist on the night. The three from George. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And we finish one half of basketball. And now, brought to you by Sprint. This is the halftime show. Let's break down all the first half action. Indiana with the lead against Bo the Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to Boston, Massachusetts. The skyscrapers all lit up overlooking downtown. Talk about a terrific game for Teague. He's got 13 points, and he's got two baskets from out in three-point land. I'm sure they'd like to get him a few more, though, so look for them to run some screens for him. Try to pop him open. Here's Johnson, and Turner with the block. And now, here comes Young, leading the break. And he converts the layup. Young's got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Pacers. And the defense just lets him go there. And once he hit the open floor, there was no looking back. Straight to the rim. Here's Thomas. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Well, you know, last season, I think, officially brought the immediate championship aspirations of the Celtics to a close. The seventh seed in the East, dispatched in the first round by the Knicks. The rebuild was on in full cycle. 
And back to the Celtics, making the playoffs, sure, but you know, not like Steve back in 08 or 2002. Well, this has been a phenomenal era you know, with KG and Pierce that is now a thing of the past, but look, they've hoisted a championship banner very close to another, but it's just time to move on, and, and that's just the way it is in the NBA. These things go in waves, and the Celtics now in rebuilding mode. Well, Indiana's success last season was built around its defensive prowess, and they usually would set the tone at the start of the game. They were one of the best in the league at allowing the fewest first quarter points. What a sluggish, muddy start to the second half. Still scoreless. Indiana leading by 16. George with the ball, and it's Johnson picking him up. Oh, and here comes Johnson all alone. That's good from Thomas on the assist by Jackson. Thomas got 13. Going back to the Pacers once more, you knew they wanted to emphasize defense each game, and Steve, they would always come out and get right in the offensive player's face to start the game. And they allowed the fewest first quarter points of any team in the league last year, Kevin. That's a great way to kind of set the tempo, set the tone uh, in a ball game, and the Pacers were able to establish that defense right away. the bucket. 15 points in the game. And this stroke has been dead on. Inside, outside, wherever. The shot's just falling for him. Sure. And he drops in the way up off the glass. And the Pacers lead by 16. Nothing but money for him to start the hat. They've made all three of their shot attempts. Here's Thomas. 15 points in the game. Well, it's not often you find a player like Paul George who, as tall as he is, can play two guard, but when you do, you're going to see some really big numbers in rebounding from him, and that's what George does. He wants to have his double-digit rebounds, and he will take the ball right into the teeth of the defense. Teague for three, and Horford pulls it down. Horford's got four rebounds in this game. This offense is first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. Well, he hasn't had much success shooting the ball, but it's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. And Clark, you mentioned the height of Paul George. Six foot eight when he was drafted. He actually grew to 6'10 in his rookie season, Steve, so he's a young guy that's <laughs> continuing to grow both on the floor and, and physically. Yeah, he may be 7'2 by his fourth year. <laughs> I'll tell you, though, he gives you powerful. Oh, 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 that athletic play. Incredible. Wow. Nasty, absolutely filthy. And the building is stunned, partner. He dug deep into his bag of tricks there. Yeah, I hope he keeps that one handy. I want to see that again. Leads to Johnson. Oh, yeah. And immediately ends the back with the dunk at the other end. I like that they're taking it inside and taking advantage of each opportunity, Clark, to chip away at the deficit. Yeah, and doing it with the dunk is a major energizer, too. Gets the momentum going. Yeah, and I think the interior defense, as good a job offensively as, as we saw, the defensive presence was almost non-existent. They may see this lead disappear if they continue to give up those easy points. Thomas kicks to Johnson. There's the corner two-hand jam. Now that's finishing your work right there. Powerful two-hand jam. You're right. Yeah, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Dishes it to George. The kick out to Young. And there's the feed to T. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Robinson with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. Robinson dishes to Young. Down to five on the shot clock. George, that's a two-pointer. Here's Turner. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Turner's got ten points. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Thomas goes in. Here's Horford, and it's sent back by George. T kicks to Robinson. The pass to Turner. Outside for Robinson. There's a whistle, and it goes on Isaiah Thomas. And that'll be his third foul so far. George guarded closely. Team for three. Rebound Boston. 
The offensive rebound gave him another crack at it, and he cast in. I did it with strength on the putback <laughs> jam, Clark, with strength. Love it. Uh, gritty, gritty. <laughs> Thomas picks to Bradley.